Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. Today I just um, I just got finished doing a CJS haul. Really good video. Like I'm loving all the goodies. Um, I love what they sent me. It was so beautiful. And there's a surprise in there for you guys. So I don't know how this is going out. If this will go out first or after that video. That video probably will already be out. I think. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys enter that. Win some goodies. So today I wanted to. We have to. We have a whole lot of CJS right here. See a little bit of leg. These shorts are like riding on me. Like it's really annoying to be honest. Um, but anyways, let's, so this is my system, and this is how I know when I buy polishes if they are like so I don't repeat them. Basically, right? You no, know, I'm getting a lot of dots. But I have to put these ones in here before I put them away, and I want to organize that better. And while doing all that, I actually just went and kind of like tidied up my cart a little bit. So I thought I would show you guys my cart. Why not, right? And then I got a package in. I don't think I just showed you my address. If I did, if you're coming over, you're swatching. I'm just letting you know that right now. Because I have... I have to I have to get up the energy to swatch all that GD Um it's a lot. And I have to do it and I just honestly haven't got the energy yet to do it, you know what I mean? So this is not exactly crazy fun. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, so that was my address on the bottom so i ordered three things from amazon i got two well technically five in total um i got a few last week it was just some swatches i get my swatches from there there are 17 bucks i think for like i think 200 or something i think you get four packs of 50 which isn't bad just for the square ones which i prefer um and i also got this book i meant to show you guys in my last vlog but i i don't even think i did so i got this little book and for me, I find, now all of a sudden my nose is itchy. When I'm like drawing, like I'm not a great drawer. So it's hard for me to draw, like even just like a nail to make it look decent for like my sketch, right? So I was just putting it in the random books and I wanted a place to put them where eventually I can like, I just think it'd be neat to have it a few years down the road, like five years look back and be like, this is how I've progressed and all these different like nail art envisions. So I've already kind of used it though. And I like it. I like it a lot. It's actually really, really cool. So I did like these nails. So I did a couple. And I don't know, like I I personally like it. Like I draw the inspiration and then I draw my version of that. And then like I like to use this so I can put down even the colors I use, what um like what type of colors and things like that. So it's even good when I look back and if someone's like, Oh, what color was that? And I can actually look it in the little book and be like, Oh, it was two seven whatever, right? So I used it for these two designs and I love it. It makes my creativity come out. So I did this design, which I think is super beautiful and I'm so mad that it's not on my hands. Like I just love the way that it came out. Oh, I'm, I'm in, I'm editing that right now, but I did edit, I edited so much yesterday. Like I literally, it's too much on my eyes. It's hurting me. And then I did this little set as well. We're going to use some 3D and some gypsum gel for the sunflower. I think it's okay. Like, it's not bad. It's not like I've been out here drawing sunflowers and stuff, so it's okay. I think it's cute, though. It needs a little work, but it's too cute. Yeah, so this I got from Amazon. I think it was like eight bucks or so. And I personally like it. I like the coffin or ballerina shape. It just, I can turn it into a stiletto or and it's a decent size canvas. Now, all it looks like is this. So that way you can just draw what you went on. I kind of wish that I was separate a little bit more, but I think what I'm going to use, I can probably use it for more than one. I can have even down here, use one and one up for a hand, or if you want two different hands, like that can work as well. Um, yeah, or you just draw your inspiration. Like I, the first one I did my inspo from, so that's kind of cool. Then I got a pack of Sharpies um, from Amazon because I was using the house Sharpies and I don't want to ruin them. So I think I'm going to replace, I'm going to take the older ones and then replace them with the new ones. And they were like six bucks. I found like a crazy deal. And then I got some pots. These are just 10 gram pots. 
because the glitter drawer is not annoying my life and I need more pots. So that's it. Nothing too, too crazy. Nothing crazy, a couple needs, and I love that I found that book. That book was really cool. So I'm just going to go through and do all this. I think I'll show you guys the cart first and then... Yeah, I don't know. We'll come back. We just have a little bit of stuff to put away, a few things, and we'll see what we get into today in the studio. Who knows? It's something to do with something. We'll figure it out. But let me show you the cart. Okay, guys. So this is it. If you don't know, if you're new here, hi, guys. I'm Crystal. I work out of my home, so this is, like, my house in the background. My studio is kind of in my um, dining room area, oh. which is, like, open concept. So whatever. You basically see my whole house. Welcome to my house. Take your shoes off at the front door. And why are you rolling back trying to trip me out? Like, it's just moving. Okay. So this is the top of my cart. And... Mm, okay, so these wipes here... I should stand up and do this. These are lint-free. These have lint to them, but I actually really like them. They still work good. Cotton balls for stamping. These, I love these for my scraper for stamping. I like just to wipe them off on. And you can use them a couple times. My little scrapers to just like dust off your hands. These are new. I don't know how I feel about them yet. They are lint free. They're literally like sponges. I got them for stamping. They work good to wipe your nail off. They hold a lot of liquid for gel. But mm, I don't know yet guys. And then here is just a little like cuticle pushers. I usually when I'm just quick reach for these clean up something like that. And then these are just little tools. We have some tweezers. Our little stir sticks, our cotton grabber, and then we have like proper dust brushes. We have this little dust brush, which I'm gonna lie, she's so soft, I love that brush. And then we have just if you get cut, so it just kind of cleans it up and stops the bleeding, so it's just some li li liquid septic. And then this is, it's empty right now because I didn't need it. I just cleaned it actually. So that's just to sterilize my bits. I have a big white one to do my implements. And then here we have lotion, alcohol, acetone, gel wipe solution, CJS plate cleaner, young nail swipe. Oh, something blue. We have bubble solution. We have cuticle oil, we have some more cuticle oil, and then we have some cuticle softener. And then just in the back here, I do have my brush cleaners. Now, I used two different ones. I like to label it and keep one for glitter brushes because I feel if not, you're just going to get glitter all over your brush and it's like annoying. So I do have that there. I have this little, um, little dust brush too. Honestly, I don't even reach for it often and she's so cute though. This is not IBD, but I do use the bottle. It's just M-Share Clear. It's a very thin, thin consistency, so I find it, it's, like it's almost, almost, honestly, it's more like a top coat consistency, but it's good if you want to thin out a gel or something like that, so it's kind of like a go-to to prep your brushes. I use it a lot to prep my brushes. And then this down here is just like little wood sticks with cotton on the end of them. I haven't used them a lot, but I did just put them in there. That's that. Let's skip our way down one. So this one is basically like all of my tips. So any tips that I need for practicing, these are all my practice tips. I do just have some like regular like oval practice tips. Um, here we have some more. I think they're ballerina and stiletto. So there's two different ones in there. I think I just go to the five because it's just usually for a hat, right? And then we have white ones, and then we have pre-black ones. So there just makes it a little bit easier. Oh, and I think I also have the tips for inside of my practice hands. So that's how I store them. I don't know if I'm loving it. I feel like it's taking up not a lot of room, but I kind of want those containers, in all honesty. Um, yeah, so that's really about it. And then here I have my wheel swatches. Sometimes I like to do collections on them. They're really These are really good for when you're practicing, actually. And you just want to try some designs like I use them all the time just for that like if I have an idea I try it on that it just I don't know it kind of works and then my black and white swatches and then we have clear swatches now if we move up a little bit 
my two lamps. Actually, I have to charge that lamp. I keep forgetting that. She did now. Um, and then the other little lamp I have. This one's a Melody Susie. It's a two-in-one. So you can use it as a regular lamp. Um, and then you can also use it as a like a fast curing lamp. So it's kind of good for that. These are my practice stands. I love these little individual ones. Um, they just don't move, so your your tip doesn't move. These ones are okay. Like, I'm just not having a fan of these little guys anymore. I don't know. They ignore my life. But these ones are metal, so I do like that a lot better than the plastics. A little bit more down there, and then I also have a saw. Um, a little bit, a little light down there as well. This tin is just one of these boxes. Just more tips. Paper towel roll. I'll just take that off for now. Leave it up there. So down here is kind of just a collect all of little things. It holds two of my pillows. Now these are just hand rest. They work good, especially when you're a gel, and then you can kind of put it in your lamp, like in front of your lamp. It blocks the light. It really works good for that. Actually, what I use it a lot for. I don't really use it for people. I use it more for blocking the light. This holds more stands, like practice stands, and all those great things. Sorry for the glare. So that's what that one holds. This one holds ugh, these clear bins I got. They're from Ikea. So that holds any like rhinestone little holders, guys, like for displaying. It has a little polish holder, something like that. And again, that's like just miscellaneous stuff. So we have an extra lamp back there. We have a dust brush, a couple new things. Like, you know what I mean? She just holds a little miscellaneous stuff. And that's what that is. And then on the opposite side, which is not that crazy. That's why I knew it was not going to go back in there with one hand. My dust collector, I actually set it here. Like, that's where it stores. So it just stores in the back. And that's why I love the Melody Susie dust collector. It's just thin and easy to be stored. So that's how mine goes when I'm not using it. So that way I don't have to worry about it just being on my desk, in my way. I don't always need it out. Hey guys, that's what my cart looks like. Obviously, I have to put that back, but so I went and I did all of the CJS. Why do my eyes look so red? I don't know. Anyways, so look, guys, almost I'm missing 93. Like I don't know what happened. 93 got left out, unless I have it and I didn't mark it. And then we have this many more to go. And then. Yeah, if they have any extras, like the neons I put down here, I know they have like the holographics that's not like in my system, so I just write them down when I get them. But yeah, that's how I keep track. Uh, it works. I I think I bought one extra, so one double's not bad, considering I think I've got, I, I would say probably over a hundred, a hundred and something. Shh, don't tell no one, okay? That's crazy because my eyes look so tired now. I don't know. You know what it is though, in all truth, and I don't have it on this, probably why too, is the light. That light is like freaking killing my eyes. But you know what? I should, I should be wearing my glasses all the time and I'm not. And that's my own fault. So yeah, I don't know why it does that though. Oh well. Okay. We're not here in a beauty pageant. We're here to try to get work done. Okay. It does bother me, like they're bothering me a little bit and I think that's why, but also I was outside earlier and like, ugh, the heat, the allergies, everything is just like, holy man. This year, I tell you already, already in the summer. So we did that. That's organized. We have a couple CJ plates to put away, but you know what? I don't think I overly want to put them away yet. I want to do something. I want to create a video on some of these. So, well, I guess they could go away. My, it's not like my drawer is big. Is that crazy? And I don't know. I'll just set them at the back. I have to cut. Oh, no, not that way. I do have to cut um, some more dividers. Now, for this little box, I'm not going to store mine in there, but I'm going to keep the box, I think. Because if I have, well, I have extras. I have one extra, and I do have one more extra up there that I bought once. So I'm going to put it in here. And then if I get enough giveaway, I can actually keep them in the box and put that as the giveaway. Like, in the, so they keep them protected. You know what I mean? Instead of just throwing the box out. Because 
I'm not going to use it, but it's a good box. I tried to get it with no box. That is an option um, to save like the recycling, but I couldn't get these two sets with no box. And it's just the way that they probably had it or something. I don't know. Who knows? So I'm going to set that in my storage bin. Um, I really want to organize those clear jelly a little bit better. So I'm just going to take some time and do that. And I'm not going to film it. I will film like after like it's done type of thing. So it's going to take me a little bit just to organize the colors. I'm going to go in kind of like a rainbow, but I feel like it'll be easier for me to lay them all out and then I can stack them the way I want to in there. Um, because it's just a little high. So I feel like now I'm getting more. I think I have a good amount to do it all one time. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just, I'm going to try that and just kind of get my eyes a little bit of a break from that light. Like I said, I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, sorry guys. Thank you guys all so, so much. Um, obviously I'm still at the end of the days of it. So, but yeah, I don't know. This whole, this year is so far. I'm blessed. I feel amazing that this year is a great year, but some like little hiccups and like the weather and feeling little minor things we shouldn't complain about. Oh, I do want to show you guys though. I picked this up at... I picked it up. Yeah, no, it's from Amazon. I didn't pick it up anywhere. I got it off Amazon. It's just it's a silicone mat. I'm just going to move you guys. This silicone mat, it's a kitchen mat. It's... Okay, so you can get a better idea. I'm going to unplug it. I had you guys plugged in because my battery's going to die. So to get a better idea, it covers about that much surface of my desk. So it's not bad, right? Like it's a pretty good coverage. I like that it's light gray. You're going to obviously get the little things sticking on it, but just use your lint roller, your lint roller to um, clean that up. Okay. And then, um, yeah, that'll be easy. But I just, I wanted something because sometimes when I don't have like, not that I don't have, I have tons of little baby black, I have tons of backgrounds. But sometimes it's just like pulling those backgrounds out and then they're smaller so it's like you're confined to the space and sometimes I don't want to always be just right up in the camera view. So I wanted something that gives me a little bit more of a broader surface. I was just using the um, Bristol board backgrounds because I just usually just buy white. But sometimes I feel like the white, I don't know if it's just the off-white and that, I don't know, it's just a, meh. I think I'm going to still use them, but I just wanted something there all the time. If something spills on it, it's not like the whole board or whatever is garbage, right? So it's just a little easier. So pick this up at Amazon. It came in this. It's a non-stick extra large silicone pastry mat. Honestly, when I seen this, I was like, did I order tinfoil or something? <laughs> but it's food safety. It's whatever, I guess, right? It's good for all types of things. Dishwasher safe. Dry completely before storing. Don't use with knives. Uh, store flat and roll. Okay. But I like the color. It's a light gray. So I think that'll work just to have because the glare, you see the glare sometimes and I don't really want that. Yeah. So I'm just going to organize these CJSs. And we're going to figure that out and then we'll come back on and see where else we can get ourselves into today. Finally got all my CJS organized. I don't know, kind of in like a rainbow order. And then I also have all of my shears up here that I'm going to kind of organize like that. Oh, I'm G, guys. It took me forever. Let's put them on the Okay, So I finally finished organizing it. So that is how they look now. Now, this one here is going to be the first one up. So I did want to show you, you can store some on the inside round, too. So... You get quite a bit of storage with these. I'm liking it so far. It, it, it does have its like one, two little challenges, I guess. I guess it's a little high, but to be honest, like I can reach it. It's not crazy. Like for me to take one down, like it's not that, that bad. Who knows? I just not putting holes in these walls, but we'll see. I might have to figure out something. Hi guys, so it is the next day, I know I didn't end that vlog, <laughs> but I, oh I look like I'm naked, I'm not naked, I have a sundress on. <laughs> um, so it is the next day, but I did um, do the CJS, I changed that around a little bit, so I thought I would give you a quick little tour, and then I could say goodbye, I love you guys, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one, but let me show you what I did behind me, just to kind of like clean it up a little bit.
and I'll just do like a small little tour okay, of that. Okay, so yesterday we did the CJS polishes. Now, I changed that around just a little bit. Now, I did go ahead and organize them. I just continued my colors up here. I did put my swatch stick stand over here. I think it's just easier to go and grab swatch sticks. Um, I feel like the CJS, as much as I love both of them up there, it can be a little tedious just to be reaching so far, and I don't think I really want that. So I just have this here, all my swatch sticks. We have um, my little tapes. This little thing here just holds any nails that I've done. And then we have the CJS rack. We have my mug, this is a collaboration with BB, and it holds all of my brand new cuticle oils. Of course, my BB hat, my brand stickers. And then over here, we have more swatch sticks. Now, these swatch sticks are literally just mixed brand colors that stay in my bins. So they live there. I got that little stand thing off of Sheen. Works really well. And then if we move down a little bit, we have this polish rack holder that holds majority Madame Glam. I have black and white Betelisa in there, and then I have a black and white uh, Born Pretty. Because I really want to do something with black and white, so I want to see like what's like kind of the best right now. So I'm just kind of storing them there. I have all of my Pixies. And then here I have my acrylic markers in this little cup. I just actually put my extra CJS polish right back there for now. That way it's handy and I do have two extras in the box. Maybe once I get like the six or something, I don't know, I'll do a giveaway or something. And then down here, this technically is like my editing desk. But, you know, nail stuff gets over there too, of course. So here I just have the continuation. And I decided to put the ones that I know I'm going to probably reach for the most. My black and whites, my stickies, on this little rack. Now in here I just have more of those little beads, those uh, micro beads, and then I have my sharpies, uh, my little glasses, move my phone out of the way. Now in here I did have just stationary stuff because I do reach for that, so I did keep two of them as my stationary that holds like my tape measure, my little thing, and trust me I use it a lot, then my extra dyno tapes, extra clips, or rings. And then here we have an empty one. I decided to keep that empty. Here I want to start putting my extra beads because I really want to reach for them more. So I feel like maybe if they're over here, then I will reach for them more. Because they're great fillers. Like, they really are. And then I put all of my nail tip glues in here. So that would be a good little thing. And then, again, more swatch sticks. I had this little thing on the side of my um my monitor but I actually kind of like it there it just holds my little art book and then I have like a little to-do list thing and then here I'm not going to go through this but this just holds a whole whack of nail art There's probably a video up somewhere of what's all in that but yeah so that's what I did I switched it a little bit and I like that I actually like that a lot better and I think that'll just be overall easier to grab so we'll see how it functions today. I just did it last night, so. But I think it'll work great. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!